muted. Welcome to the stream of gaming tonight. Okay, today. Not tonight. Let's start with some food stuff, shall we?
Fuck is he? Come!
Damn. No, but I actually give you my side go first. They don't. They don't. Every single page. They're all checked out, make a request, they request.
Did I really mess it up just like that? What is your opinion on the fail system that is online dating? No comment. That can probably get me cancelled. I don't know. Anything is a weapon these days. Pepino Gaming? Pepino Gaming. Pepino Gaming. I'm redoing these levels because I have to do these um, chef tests. I did not bump into a wall while being a knight trying to get to all the priests. So I don't bump at all until I get to all of the priests. I, I totally messed up that jump. If I double jumped, that would have been fine. I'm do this thing again. I'm just. What's the word? Completing everything. 100%ing everything. It should be working. Okay.
Alright gang, viewers, let's see if the rest of the...
don't need to get any P in this one. I have to put out P finish for this one. Oh, did I find all the secrets though? No, oh, won't tell me. really good.
Inside you. Please just look inside yourself. You know it too. There's only room for one of us in this pizza tower. <laughs> That's me. Hold on, let me do this thing. You know, when I was younger, my dad used to make eggs, and they would have a lot of pepper in them, and that was a little too spicy for my palate back then. Huh. But now, I'm a big man with, with big man taste buds. I can eat straight up pepper, and I don't, I don't even need milk. Kind of wild. I like to grow hot peppers and cook with them, which often ends up with me tear-gassing our own house. 
Got a big list of like 150 hot sauces I had tried, all, all ranked with little notes, which I accidentally my bum deleted. Burned. Oh, my God, if there's some again, stupid, insanely hot item on a menu, it's going in my mouth. Now I realize that my tastes have changed, but some of you guys still got little baby Goo Goo Gaga modes. Which is fine, if you're a little dummy, little st stupid bitch. But <laughs> why would you want to eat something and make you feel pain? Well, that's because it's... That's oh. cool. That's a good point. Hmm. Also, do you have any glue? <laughs> now that's something we can agree on. Oh, that's spicy. Generally, we think of things that make our mouth burn after we eat them as spicy. This feeling comes from a chemical called capsaicin, which is a chemical found in the chili pepper in its little ribs, and often coating the seeds found there. These little capsaicin guys come in and tell your heat receptors, hey man, everything is on fire, absolutely burning. It's true, I saw it with my own peepers. But it's not. They're serial liars, not arsonists. But lies still hurt, and your heat receptors believe them. And that's why you got a mouth on fire and you're looking all melty. It's how spicy works. But that gets me thinking, what? This is a pepper plant, and like many living things, it wants to survive, eat sun, and reproduce. And part of that ideal utopian plant life is making fruits, and in this case, peppers. Because peppers are fruits. But these peppers kind of get owned by things like animals and fungi. Wow. But with this newly developed spicy trait, they can fight back and protect themselves until they're fully mature. Yeah, that, that's a good boy. It's your time. Go and spread your seed. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, except from birds. It doesn't work on them. Um, but it's actually beneficial since the seeds often make it through the birds' digestive tracts uh, unharmed. And then they spread out the seeds better. <laughs> Jalapeno is spicy, you know, you know, it, it hurts it, me, but a habanero is way worse, but it's smaller. What's it? What's going on? It turns out he's smaller because capsaicin actually takes a lot of energy to grow. So hot peppers uh, tend to be smaller, but size isn't a hundred percent tell all. So thankfully Wilbur Scoville created the Scoville scale. So now we can tell how hot peppers are. The bigger the number, the more ah! The score that something spicy gets is basically how much sugar water needed until human taste testers can no longer taste any heat. Oh, it's not spicy. It's, it's just a bell pepper, man. Give me some milk. As you can see, this test is a little unreliable and subjective. Uh, kind of depends on how much is spicy each person can handle. But now we got fancy tests like the high performance liquid chromatography test, which measures the potency of capsaicin much more accurately. The general consensus for spicy refers to anything causing you a runny nose, sweating, and a burning tingle on your tongue. But that's just what Big Spicy wants you to think. I actually found out that anything used for cooking from a leaf is an herb and anything from anywhere else is a spice. Salt from rocks, cinnamon from tree bark, chilies from the floor. So anything with an abundance of this stuff could be considered spicy. Mmm, delicious salt lick. Spicy. But that's confusing, so I'm here to fix this. Additional to hot spicy, we also have cold spicy. Anything with minty menthol that gets your mouth feeling icy. No spicy, wasabi, horseradish, that good, good mustard. They get your nostrils flared and your sinuses stinging. Eyes spicy. When you get sad while you're chopping your little, your little onion friends. Or your real friends, I don't know. And touch spicy. Oh. This is probably an allergic reaction. You need to seek help now. And I'm sure there's a ton more. It really just depends how far down the spicy hole you want to go. And uh, honestly, uh, I'm good. This is uh, far enough. Spicy is kind of just a blanket term that we use to cover any edible chemical that gives us an uncomfortable feeling. But we like it. Why do we like it? The best way I can explain it is it's like torturing yourself, but you get a little treat at the end of it. A nice little taste of something good to make oh. all the bad worth it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want more. Why wouldn't you just want to eat the pudding, you know, with, without the torture part? I have to earn it. Okay, fair, but uh, do, do I really have to wear this? Don't ruin my immersion. I pay you good. 
What the hell is wrong with this guy? So maybe you're a masochist, but there's also an actual explanation for why we like spicy. When you're going through heat and pain, your body releases adrenaline, which gets the heart pumping. Then, as a response of our senses to experience food. Mmm, a little umami from the chicken, a nice aromatic coleslaw, and a little, oh, a little bit of heat. It's perfect. Hello, thank you for watching the video. I'm so sorry about the break. J j honestly, honest mistake. I forgot the password. I just want to say a thank you to Matthew Lake for helping me out with animation on this. Really talented artist, go check out his YouTube channel or his Instagram. Um, and besides that, I hope you guys learned something. Thank you for watching. Yo, bro, what you watching? This is the greatest moment of her lifetime! Oh, bro, it's just a cartoon! You don't understand the cultural significance of Gear 5! This is an actual holiday! Bro, how? It's just a knockoff Looney Tunes! How dare you compare it to that! This is the greatest thing since the light bulb! Yo, bro, what you watching? Happy Father's Day! You're a poor excuse for. You know the rapper 50 Cent? Well, here's the latest sound.